We just completed our first experience of kind of a mini tour. Without further ado, let's get into some of the footage of our trip and how it went. Before we even left, we got into some interesting issues with the RV. Part of why I bought the RV was to, to go comfortably and tour as a band. I had it parked on my lawn, basically on the side of my house. It was raining really hard. Subsequently, uh, the whole RV got stuck in the grass. Um, it was spinning its tires. It created this big, deep rut. We leave tomorrow to hit the road, supposed to, and the RV is currently stuck in the yard. Tires were spinning. It wasn't going anywhere. Will we be able to get it out tomorrow before we hit the road? Who knows, maybe we'll just play shows in the yard. A friend came over to try to pull it out with a truck. We tried, we tried, we tried, nothing would work. So I had to call a tow truck. The tow truck should be here somewhat soon, almost 11 o'clock. I have to get up and do a practice tomorrow before we hit the road. So, so far, exciting times for our first tour. This tow company said it would be $200 for an hour. Um, to get it out. Turned out to be around 46, 47 minutes. He said, I'm gonna charge you for two hours. I said, why? It was only an hour. He said, well, my boss told me it wasn't even worth coming out here for the full time unless I charged for two hours. And I just, I was so tired and so worn out that I was like, okay, cool. So $400 plus tax, so $460 later, the RV was able to drive again. A little update. My shirt, my, can you see my eye? has um, little particles of rust. Do I want to go on this trip anymore and do these shows? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Feeling pretty uh, overwhelmed already and defeated and we have not left the city yet. This is the day before still. So it's the next day. The RV moved, heading off to practice with the band before we hit the road. It's gonna be a good day. I'm in the Tim Hortons line. It's not too long, the line, and it's moving fast. If there's ever been a time that I needed a Tim Hortons coffee, it is right now. Bob Ross. I may have mentioned this before, but I've had anxiety my whole life, panic attacks. I had my first panic attack at eight years old. I wear it like a badge of pride. Um, but, I am now 38, just turned 38, and I'm in a band that I'm really happy about. We're having a great time playing music. We're doing our best to see how far we can take it. I am not gonna let some mental health stuff stop me uh, from, from moving forward in my life and taking this as far as I can take it. I know what it's like to have something holding you back that feels completely insurmountable, something that you just, you don't, there, you don't feel like there's any way because it's in your head, which is sometimes the worst. If I could just kick something in front of me, then maybe maybe we could make it happen, but it's worth it. It's worth it to take the chance and try to fight through any of that. I'm saying that now, I haven't left yet. I'm still going to do band practice, then we leave. Panic may ensue, but we're still doing this. Packing up, and we're hitting the road, right? Hitting the road. Uh, how did the pra last practice go? It's good. It's good. Well, there you have it. Uh, hopefully the RV doesn't break down, but we will be documenting if it does. So at least we'll have good content. All right. So where are we? So we already drove a little ways. Check engine light is on again. That's fun. Just put $250 of gas in it, and there's where we're at. And it already had $200 in it like a week ago. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Oh, that hey. wasn't that bad. How you doing? Hey, hey. Did you guys get food or anything? Yeah. There's the man. What is he up to? Rick, I see you. Hi. <laughs> Got it to work. <laughs> Angel, how, how, how is life with Vinny Pago, Vinny Pago? Vinny, Vinny. Fucking scary. How is it driving today? Also scary. Oh. You? How are you doing, Good, it's a little bit hot here. 
Here, let's do full, full speed. Thanks. Scotty and Ricky! Wee 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 pit stop just before the Confederation Bridge. This is the point in the trip where I usually get super anxious. It's weird, I don't even like to talk about being anxious. Sometimes I have this fear that if I talk about it, it makes it worse. I'm definitely feeling a lot more anxiety now. I told myself in my head, I am not going to miss opportunities in my life because of anxiety. So we do it regardless. And we have a show tonight. And we have a show tomorrow. And we're going to Bathurst. So let's just Baptism by fire. Anyway, we're gonna keep going. We'll check in with you soon. We'll see what's happening. Woohoo! Look in the ocean! Oh, beautiful! Well, we're uh, just about on Prince Edward Island, getting off the Confederation Bridge, and we're on our way to Charlottetown to play Bubba's Pub. Uh, Bubba's Pub tonight. How's your, how's your energy levels, bud? Oh, you know. Yeah? How's the camping gear? Oh, Doing good? good? Yeah? Quiet the whole trip. The minute we got on this bridge, she's been crying the whole time. So I'm happy about that. But we're almost on the other side. Um, almost made it. We are here. It's raining. Raining super hard, but we made it. I'm going in to hang out with my uncle and aunt, who are letting us stay in their yard tonight, and we're running off their power. As you can see there. So, and then we're gonna play a show. So we made it, and we're safe. And I haven't had a panic attack yet. Yay! Goodbye, RV. Going to the show. First night, we went to a place called Baba's Lounge. There was a jazz band playing before us, and when we arrived, um, they were just finishing up. There was a decent crowd for them, but why, we just kind of had this sinking feeling that when the jazz band is done, um, everyone's gonna leave. And it was a Thursday night, so people probably had to work in the morning, and we were right. So after the jazz band played, basically everyone that was there to see them left before our show. Didn't even know really that we were playing a show, and the guy came around and said, you know, $8 cover for the band that's playing next, which for us felt a little, we were like this unknown band. Downtown, Charlottetown. We used to live here. This is where we're going. Follow and Chris. Oh wait, is there an upstairs? Is there an upstairs, Josh? Upstairs. Oh, okay. This is... Live jazz music tonight. Also yeah. us. <laughs> We played a show for basically one really cool person named M who came out and danced and rocked out and that made it all worthwhile. It was tough. It's tough to play for nobody, but it feels like it's a bit of a rite of passage to just, you gotta, you know, cut your teeth somewhere and learn how to keep that energy high. So that was our first show. All right, show is done. Everything is packed up. We did play to a few people, Charlottetown, Bubba's Lounge great people. We're gonna go try to sleep and then hit the, I don't know, the beach tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna hit the beach. Fuck that, we're going to some bars, let's do it. Yeah, so let's do it. I see chips. We went home, um, I had a terrible night's sleep. I basically woke up panicking the whole night, kept waking up having panic. I just woke up about an hour ago. We got back from that show and it was probably close to two in the morning. So I thought oh, I might be able to just fall right to sleep. That was the goal. Unfortunately, that is not what happened. I ended up laying in bed probably five hours, not sleeping, really high anxiety, borderline panic attacks all night. I've always avoided it, and now I'm kind of putting myself in the situation on purpose to do things that I love 
and not avoid anymore. And so I'm exhausted because not avoiding it, it's like the anxiety in me, the panic is trying to punish me, it feels like, for for trying to live and do things that, um, that I'm afraid to do. I made it through the night. I fell asleep probably around 6 a.m. or 5, 6 a.m. because I was just so out of it. My eyes were basically crossed. I, I play this little app on my phone to distract myself when I'm in that kind of place. Did end up taking an Ativan at, towards the end because I was just like, I just need to sleep. I think everyone slept okay. We're planning on going to the beach and then we have a show tonight, which is a show we booked last minute. And then I gotta try to sleep again tonight and then we're hitting the road tomorrow to go to Bathurst and then playing a show there. My brain is on fire with all the, the coping mechanisms that I'm trying to pull from here to deal with all this stuff. Um, but that's, that's what I wanted. The life is short. I'm trying to do things I want to do. There she is. Hi. The cutest I ever saw you guys. This is day two, so I'm worried what day four is gonna feel like. <laughs> day four is gonna be rotten because I know what day three is gonna bring. <laughs> What's going on here? I bought my elbow trunks to show a uh, Pulled it. There he is. Yeah. So you got the Elmo swim trunks? Yeah, just a big Elmo fan. Just want to let everybody know how much I love Elmo. Yeah. Just a big kid. I can't That's... wait. Are you going to swim? Of course. After a much needed break at the beach, we're headed back to make some music. Is that correct? How we're gonna do that. What are we missing? Oh no, just figure out the setup. Set, yeah, we gotta figure that out. Yeah. Learning songs the last couple days. Yeah, so when the show we were asked to play covers. Yeah. It's cool, but we don't do that normally, so it's kind like of on a the bad drive. scramble. And a little bad exactly. and just playing songs on the drive in Charlottetown. Right, Mix it fun. What did I know when I was 16 again? Now we've gone swimming, we've been to the ocean. Gave us some energy to play what was called the Beer Garden that we were playing later that night that again was a show that we booked last minute. The owner or manager of the place name nickname was Boots. So we ran into him. Turned out being one of the coolest guys we've ever met. They said, we really want bands to play cover songs. We're not a cover band. We don't really know any cover songs, but Chris the drummer and Ed and Rick had played lots of cover songs before and played in cover bands so they said well we can probably pull it off and play some cover music. There was some ladies there, it was her birthday, we sang happy birthday to her, she put this lay on me, um, super awesome group of ladies, they were dancing, my aunt and uncle were there, it was a pretty good time. And then we kind of went out, had some drinks that night, and went back to my uncle and aunt's place and sat in the yard late at night and just talked a little bit. So what happened tonight, Rick? Charlottetown Beer Gardens. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a really good show. That's the thing about this show. It's actually just a very, very nuanced dating app for Rick. We really want him <laughs> to find somebody. And we really hope he will. Yeah, he was sick of Tinder. So we started a band. So it's our last show in Charlottetown, and then we're heading, where are we going tomorrow? We're going to Bathurst. That was the day we drove to Bathurst. So we got in the car, we got in the RV, we all loaded up, and we hit the road again. By this point, it's not a long tour. This is our third day, but we're all pretty exhausted. But we were eager to get to Bathurst and play at a place called 13 Barrels. And they were so kind. We arrived, it was a long drive. Um, it felt longer than it probably was. This is when we realized Ed had lost his voice. He had no voice left, he had a bad cough happening. My voice was almost gone. I was so tired and I got to take a shower. That was cool because I hadn't showered yet. We just did our best and honestly we tried to give it the most energy we could we could given the fact that Ed couldn't sing. He ended up having a, a chest infection so we found out a couple days after the the trip that he was sick. He's on a bunch of medication now to get better. Um, I've been feeling sick the last few days since we've been back. 
Scott is now feeling sick, so we were all really depleted. Newbies, you know, we, we didn't really know what we were doing. We exhausted ourselves. We were all frustrated. Marie and I and Eloise decided to drive back that night after the show, three hour drive. We just got back from Bathurst. The little mini tour is officially over. You can tell I'm acting kind of loopy right now because I am freaking exhausted. My voice is like shot. So to all those singers out there that do tours and nonstop singing, how the hell do you do it? And the tour is over. Yeah, we're gonna have to reflect on this one to talk about it. All in all, it was a great experience. We met some amazing people. Huge thank you to all the venues. They were all so gracious and kind. Most of them paid us more than they even said they would pay us, gave us a little extra money, um, gave us food, gave us drinks. People are really kind. Part of my anxiety is sometimes, you know, I feel like I'm not at home and then I get more nervous, but realizing that when you're on the road, you meet a lot of good people. There's a lot of good people out there. Really can't wait to do it again. Would do things a little differently. Definitely would prepare better. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff like this. I'm going to try to document as much as possible because I'm a musician, but I'm also a videographer by trade. We're going to be doing music videos. We're in the studio right now. We actually have a TV show coming out on Bell TV One. But stick around this YouTube channel because we're going to try to show the journey of, you know, what it's like to try to produce a high quality music video, uh, what it's like to record singles and try to release them and try to market them. Um, it's all new to us. Enjoy what you're doing. Have fun. It's all about community. Um, you know, meeting people and connecting with people. Whatever you're doing, you can't go wrong if you're if you're connecting with new people and growing and learning and um, learning from them and just making new friends. That sounds really cheesy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs>